everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing and using every single color in this bad baby right here, the hottest palette of the season by Shane and Jeffree Star. I just want to say a special thank you to one of my best friends, Kaylee, for helping me film and make this YouTube tutorial. Shout out to Scrappy for my dog barking during this very long process. And we are going to get started in just a minute to show you how you can achieve this look with this palette and do every single color in it. And uh, welcome, welcome rats to the rat kingdom. Enjoy. All right, so now it's time for me to be, be ugly for a second. And we are gonna start this look using our special conspiracy palette as we said before. So the first step of not getting ugly is priming our face and we're gonna use our mech, mech. <laughs> <laughs> our our mech. Uh, prep and prime. I literally said mech again. I have worked on many makeup clients myself and a lot of people don't really you some people do eyebrows first and some people don't it depends on who I'm doing as my client depending on their skin type what I do first their foundation or their eyebrows but usually I like to cut the eyebrows so it's sharper because it's harder to do foundation with your eyebrows and cut the eyebrow when you already have foundation on so we are just using this dumb little Mary Kay brush that I got like a billion years ago Next, we are going to be using concealer to cut the brow. And this is actually from a, um, this is Mud Makeup Designery, which I usually don't recommend because it's honestly kind of trash, but I got it in my beauty school kit. So uh, there's that. Amen. And when you're cutting it, you just kind of want to start at the beginning. And you don't have to use a flat brush. I use all different kinds of brushes. But you just kind of go over the top. And if you mess up on cutting your eyebrow, what you can always do is we're going to go back and fill it in even more. Why did I just tap that like there was makeup? <laughs> Off your concealer. So once you look disgusting, you're gonna take your booty blender. This one's from Morphe. Amen. She's about two years old. No, she's not. That's kidding. Do not ever use your beauty blender for about get new beauty blenders all the time because they're filled with bacteria so and i'm an esthetician in training and that's not okay for me to be using the same beauty blender that i've had for a couple months now so we're gonna order a new one when i'm not a hashtag broke bee Brows are what shape the face, so starting off with brows is another key point. That's why a lot of makeup artists do start off with brows, because brows are the most important thing to work everything around. Okay, so 
So the first shade that we are going to be dipping into today is My Pills. And this is just a light pink base shade that I literally forgot existed until two seconds ago. Because I actually just got this palette less than a week ago and I've only played with it a couple times um, since going to school and being busy and all that. The colors that I do use the most are just probably the top uh, row and the pinks are what I've really been dipping into. But the Illuminati, My Rides Here, Not A Fact, What's The Tea, I have not dipped into any of those shades yet. So we're going to be doing that today. Alrighty, so we're just going to take Tanacon. And this is just a Morphe basic blending eyeshadow brush. Um, I got this actually in the Traveler set of brushes, so it doesn't have a certain number on it. So the next color we are going to take, I'm kind of, I want to, let's just go row by row. I'm just going to go row by row in this, up in this beat. So we are going to take Diet Root Beer next. And we're just going to deepen the outer corner. Okay. Just kidding. Next, we are going to dip into my rides here with the Morphe M573 which I am cleaning off right now as we speak. Actually, just kidding, I lied to y'all, I'm sorry. We are dipping into Not A Fact in the bottom row. I am just making my way through the palette as this is happening. The thing about my makeup skill is I don't plan anything out. I might like have an idea like a certain look or outfit like when I see something or I have like a thought in my head about what makeup I want to do that day but when I'm holding the palette in my hand my hand and my eyes see the colors and they just go to work. It's not anything that I really control it just happens. It's like it's like magic. Amen. Amen to that. I really am finna use every single color in this palette. Like, it's finna, finna hurt my brain cells. So we are dipping into my rides here. Next, we are going to go in with uh, just a brush that I got from my Ipsy bag. Hello. Amen. And we are going to take cheese dust. Cheese dust. Hello. And we are just going to put her, kind of blend her in the upper crease towards the inner corner so we can blend all these together. I'm going to take Flaming Hot. I'm trying to get rid of all the mattes. Get rid of, like, use all of the mattes uh, first so then we can just cut the crease and layer the shimmer. And honestly, like, if this is a look that you, like, want to do every day, I'm sorry, but <laughs> my this is literally like a puzzle that I'm just piecing together as I go. And the more I'm, like, focusing on it, the better it's getting, which I love. But uh, 10 out of 10, we are literally just reviewing all the colors in this palette at one time because... Um, self-control of just making separate videos of separate looks 
we don't we don't want that we don't want her so this is what we have so far and we've used almost all the mattes and now we're going to take pigment and like I said I've only used this palette a couple other times and uh, I have used the pink the most pigment and Trisha have been my favorites and I am so I love them I love the colors I love how they blend so easily with the mattes the the neutrals and I really just I heavily Woody, <laughs> we're gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> okay, I have never done this in my life, but I'm taking pigment and I'm putting her literally under my eyebrow. Because you see those Instagram looks where it's all like. <laughs> but we are trying to just fit 12 colors, not 12, more like 18. I don't even know, I can't even do math. Honestly, what's the tea is really like the tea for me right now. We are loving her. I am just patting her over these colors. We're gonna lightly take food videos and um, put her in the inner corner. Okay, here's the tea. Life hacks with Emma. Um, if you don't have any more setting spray, we love her all nighter. If you like have like a teensy bit left, and like I said, this is broke girl hours, one thousand, one trillion, one billion. What you need to do is get your local water, water anywhere. Your local water from any local sink. I chose my bathroom uh, for this one, preferably. And then what we're going to do. Is just take it and just do a little the first uh, shade that is probably one of my favorite shades especially on the brow bone is ranch <laughs> oh my god I just like spit everything <laughs> So to make our cut crease, we are going to start in the inner corner and I just use like a padding motion. we don't know how to act what we are going to do is we're going to dip into diet cola and I'm just going to try to work my way in from lightest to darkest shimmer since we already started with um a uh, ranch at the top we're going to just stick diet cola which I seriously love Okay, so this is just a theory, and we are putting her right in next to Diet Cola. And honestly, I just think that making this backwards gradient is gonna try to show, cause I'm trying to showcase each color uh, off to the best of its abilities to really show y'all how amazing this palette is. I have not had any complaints so far as far as I have been using it and I will continue to use it until I am no longer existing on this earth.
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take sleep paralysis, which I'm actually very, very excited to use this color. And we're just going to kind of blend her in with Trisha. Alrighty rats, so I have used every single color in this palette. So every single color I've put on my eye except for Spiraling and Illuminati. So what we are going to do is actually get started on the face because it's been 12 billion years. <coughs> so after we have finally um, literally been taking 12 billion years on our eyeshadow, we are going to but stop looking at me. <laughs> what I say I'm gonna do, you know what I mean? Here's one thing about me, if I say it, then I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Deceased, I really need to stop. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, mama. to conceal an acne spot what you need to do is pick a concealer that is the same color as your skin shade and not lighter and then powder it accordingly because if you do not if you use a lighter shade on something that you are trying to cover it is not going to be the same consistency 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 and therefore will no will make no difference all right now for my one of my favorite parts that of the video of my makeup routine where I start not to look like a like an egg is contour okay so for contour, what I usually do first is I take this 70-year-old 70, 70 Mary Kay brush and start at the top and kind of work our way back. Now, I usually, or not usually, but I used to just like take a slab of this and just right on my forehead and like not blend it out correctly. And that is not the tea. <laughs> that is not the tea. Also, another thing that you might notice is I stick out my tongue when I contour, when I do my mascara. I'm sorry, just in advance, I promise you I get made fun of already for it, so y'all don't have to do it for me. And, um, yeah, I don't know where I learned it from. I don't know why I still do it, but I'm sorry. <laughs> addiction to blush and so I put that ish everywhere and this is the Ofra blush in sweet stuff I got it in my ipsy bag and I absolutely love this 
So now we are going back in with our last two shades that we did not use. And that's our Illumina, or Illumina T and Spiraling. We just put Spiraling on the outer and we're going back um, in the little crease that we have left for our inner. And we're just taking Illumina T. Now, um, if you think we're done, because we are going in and um, deepening all the shades that got kind of lost in, in the palette. So I'm going back right now with obviously food videos, as you can see. So we are using the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive and honestly this is where we just highlight our whole face. Alrighty, so back to it. We are done and putting on our lashes and we're just finishing up with some mascara. And then we're gonna finish up with a lip and call it an evening. Alrighty, and to finish up this look, we are gonna be using the MAC shade in Viva Glam 2. And then we are going to be using this busted and crusted Kylie gloss in the shade. Yes, girl. Alrighty, so <clears throat> this is the finished look, everybody. Thank you for staying tuned through all our trials and tribulations. Um, I will be back with a video soon. And next time, we are not going to choose to use every single color in a palette because that was probably one of the most daunting tasks I've ever completed. And I've completed a lot of daunting tasks. So just spray your setting spray and you are ready for a night on the town. And this look is honestly truly so rainbow looking that it's not, e like I would wear this out to a fancy party or club or something of that nature um you could wear this as an everyday day to day look if you're bold enough but overall for a final review i completely recommend this palette to anybody who wants to play around with color in any way shape or form it has great neutrals great darks and great pops of color so that you can mix and match every single kind Ye the the possibilities for this palette are literally endless and I'm so glad I made this purchase from two of my favorite people on the YouTube community and beauty community. And I am so glad that we achieved a doable um, look with this palette and I thank you all so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye! Mwah.